Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about SQL update statement. I will start with the basic syntax and we will go one by one to all these things. So I have noted down what we will discuss in this video. The simple syntax, where clause, how to update multiple values with a single update statement, how to update with constant values and derivations, update using join, very important. We will discuss some important interview question also on update statement and we will we will just I will share some tips and tricks before you that update statement you can do some basic checks so that you don't update which is not required right because update can update the data right so let's start so basically update statement is used to update the data is update statement is not used to update the column structure or table structure right it is the row, the row data you will be updating. So don't confuse it with the alter table. Alter table is to alter the structure of the table, right? Let's say you have four columns, you want to add one more column, or you have, you want to delete a column, or you want to modify a column data type. That is alter table. Here we are just updating the row. So let's say I have this employee table, and I want to update the salary of employee ID one to something else. So I'm updating the row, I'm updating the data of the table. So that's when we use the update statement. Okay. So let's start from the basics. So how do I update? So I will write update table name. So I, I, I'm updating EMP. Okay. Then, so I'm telling that I need to update in this table, but what I need to update set, set salary equal to, let's say 12,000. If I run this, what will happen? The salary of all the rows will become 12,000. So just, just keep this in mind. This runs row by row. So what it will do? It will go to first row and update salary to 12,000. It will go to second row and update salary to 12,000, right? And likewise, it will go to one by one each row and update salary of all the employees. So I'm not running this because it will just mess up my data and make everything 12,000. We will go next to the where clause. Now in where clause, you can specify which row you want to update. So you don't want to update all, all the rows, right? If you want to update, you can update directly like this. But let's say you, you have some condition based on that only you want to update the rows, right? So what you can put, you can put a where condition. Update EMP table set salary equal to 12,000 where EMP underscore ID equal to one, right? So what it will do? Again, it will go row by row. It will check. Okay, employee ID is one. Then fine, I will update the salary to twelve thousand. If it will go to next row, here this condition will not satisfy. So for none of the rows, this condition will satisfy after this. So it will not update anything else, just the first row. So if I run this, it says one row affected. It means it has updated one row. If I run this again, so you see this has become twelve thousand, which was. 10,000, right? So this is how you can make use of where clause and you can put multiple conditions in where clause, right? And or the way where clause works, right? And any condition like you can put where employee age is greater than 30. So it will go and check wherever employee age is greater than 30. All those rows, it will update, right? So this is how you can do it. Okay, now if you want to update multiple columns, right? So here I am just updating salary. Let's say in one go you want to update uh, employee age also for some reason. Okay, so what you can do? I will just put it back employee ID equal to 2. Okay. Now for employee ID 2, you want to do two things. You want to update salary. And you want to update the, let's say, department also. This person's department has changed. It is 100. Now I will make it 200. Okay. So what it will do? It will say update EMP set cell equal to 12,000 and department ID equal to 200 where employee ID equal to 2. So we have to give comma separated values. We can give multiple columns and update it. Okay. So I will run this quickly. Execute. So employee ID 2, it says one row affected. So if I run this again, 
So for employee ID 2, if you see salary is updated to 12,000 and department ID was 100, it has become 200. So this is how you can update multiple values, right? Hope this is clear. Okay. So, so far, if you see, we have updated with the constant value, but this is not necessary. Let me go back to the, so, so now in going forward, I will just play with the one column update. Okay. But you, you have understood we can update multiple values, right? So let me go here. Now what I want to do, I want to equal to three for the employee ID three. What I want to do, I, I, I want to do some increment. Let's say for all the employees, I want to do increment. What I want to do, I want to increase salary by thousand rupees. So what, so I will say set salary equal to whatever salary is there plus thousand. Right. So what I'm doing, I'm using existing column to update the same column. I can use any other column also. For, for, for example, I can say salary plus department ID just for the sake of it, I'm saying. So we can use multiple columns or we can use any other column to update the column. Okay. So in this case, I am saying salary equal to salary plus thousand. So everyone's salary will increase by thousand rupees. If I run this now. Okay. So it says 11 rows affected, which means everything is updated because I commented the where clause. So if you see everyone's salaries has increased 12 to 13, 10 to 11, right? And we can do anything as such. We, I can multiply by 1.1 also, which will be 10% increment, right? Just multiply it by 1.1 and it, it will be like 10% increment, right? Let me do it for one. So I will do it for employee ID 4 and one row affected. And for employee ID 4, if you see, it is 6600. It was 6000 earlier. I hope this thing is clear. Okay. Now let's move on to the join. Okay. One more thing. We can put case statements also. So for example, I have this, right? Now you want to, you want to update all the rows, but with some condition. So what you can do, let me comment it back and I will say case when I can put case when statement also. So if I say if case when, uh, let's say department ID wise, department ID equal to hundred, then salary into one dot what I want to give 10% hike. Okay when department id equal to 200 then salary into i want to give 20 percent hike else i don't want to give any hike so i will just put salary and okay so for department id 100 it will give 10 percent hike for department id 200 it will give 20 percent hike and for any other department it won't give any hike so if i run this It says 11 rows affected because we haven't given any where condition, but in case when we have just changed the condition so that department wise, it will give the height. So if you see heights are given as for the department ID for department ID 300, there's no height because only for 100 and 200, we are giving height. I hope this is clear. So you can play with update statement, right? In the case when multiply addition, addition of two other columns, anything you can do, you can put constant value, anything you can do. Okay. I hope this is clear. Now let's say for some reason you have this employee table and you want to add department name also. So we have department ID, but we don't have department name. Department name is in department table, right? But for some reason there is a requirement and you have to add in this table itself. So what do we have to do? We have to first add, we have to first add the department column. So what I will do, alter table EMP, add department name, let's say where care 20. When I add it, the value of department name in EMP table will be null for all the records, right? So if I run this, okay, department name is null. But 
my department name is here so if i join on department id i can get the department name right so now i have to update department name looking into the department table so in the employee table i will update department name by joining based on department id with department table and get the department name so how i will do is so the syntax is little different so i will say update emp i am giving some alias e what i need to do i need to update department name okay i will come to it again i have to give same table emp e okay so this is how is the syntax update table set i will come to it from again from this table in a join dept d on e dot department id equal to d dot department id right so i have joined it and now i am saying set the department name so here i don't have to give alias it is understood that this department name is coming from emp table which i have to update and equal to d dot department name okay so what it will do it will join on department id get the department name and put this department name uh, department name from department table to employees department name okay i hope this is not confusing just look at it again uh, there is some syntax error uh, syntax is a near e okay uh, here we don't have to give alias only here we have to give alias okay my bad so 10 rows are affected there were 11 rows for, for but for one department id there is no row in the department table so i will just show it but we have to give table name here and from again table name and give we can give some alias and and it up updated the 10 rows so if i go back to this you see department name is updated only for department id 500 it is null because employee uh, department id 500 is not there the only 100 to 400 is there 500 is not there so i hope this is clear very important if you have to the update value that what you have to update is in another table then you have to use join okay now there is very one famous interview question on join okay so i have this gender column so we don't have a gender column here but let's say we have a gender column Let's say we have a gender column and I want to swap the value of gender. Let me quickly add gender column also so that I can show you. Will EMP add gender? Okay, so what I will do now, I will just quickly do an update. Update. EMP set gender equal to is when department ID equal to 100 then male else female So 11 was affected if I look at this table now I have some male some female right now the question is I need to swap so for for some reason I have put the wrong genders for male I have put female and for female I have put male so how you will swap the gender now if I run the update query you may say that we will run two update queries in one we will update male to female and another female to male but there is a problem so if I run this query, update EMP set gender equal to male, right? Where gender equal to female, right? 
if i done this and i let's say i am creating one more query where i will say gender equal to female where gender equal to male so i need to swap it the problem is the moment i run this query right so it will go to all the rows where gender equal to female and it will make them male so after i run this query everything will be male right everything will become male and i will lose the information who is male who is female so this will not work right so what i have to do i have to use case statement here in case statement what will happen it will run at once case when gender equal to male then make it female else make it male and right so if it is male it will make as female and if it is female it will make as male so in l there are two conditions so i i'm just giving else i will run this so 11 rows updated and if you see the table now it has reverse it was all male the employee uh, department id 100 i had made male right they are female now and it is swept so this is very commonly asked interview question okay i hope this is clear now we will come to the very important and last part so whenever you are running a query okay most of the time you will run with where clause or you might not run with where clause but before update you should also you should always check what you are going to update before updating it right so that you are not updating wrong data or you are not updating with wrong value so what we i generally do is before running an update statement i convert that into a select statement so for example this one i will just copy it and instead of update i will say select star comma from this table and i will take this value which i am putting okay so if i do this and will remove this and see what is coming right so now if you see the values coming for female male so before updating only i just check that my command is working fine right so see everything is swapped so i have not updated i have just created a select statement and check if everything is fine and if you have a where clause so you have to put the where clause also so let's say uh, department id equal to only for department id 200 i want to do it right so i will put this and run this and i will get to know okay that five rows will be updated and five rows will be updated like this male will become female so in this way i will get to know with what what value i am updating and also how many number of rows will be updated right so this is very important if you are running updated state statement especially in production or in dev environment also before running also always check what you are updating how many rows you are updating okay i hope this video was useful and i i hope there will not be any doubt on updated statement after watching this video please do like and share this video with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching have a good day